Folks, it's me, Will, again. Um, I just want to talk about, uh, today I want to talk about um, trans youth, about kids who come out as trans when they're children. And um, I didn't because I grew up in the 80s and early 90s and I didn't even know what trans was um, or anything. So, um Nowadays, there are a lot of kids who are coming out as trans and, you know, bet there are a lot of parents who feel like they're losing the child they gave birth to. Like, say you gave birth to a daughter and your daughter wants to be a boy. It, you go through a grieving process. I've heard some parents do this. And if you gave birth to, say, a little boy and he wants to be a she, you go through the grieving process of losing a son. Um, not all parents do this, but that, that I know of, but some do. Um, the most important thing is when your kid comes out as trans, don't think it's just a phase. Because usually it's not. It's not a phase. It's, you know, you can, so, when they're younger, social transition before puberty. And then when puberty hits and they do not want to have boobs or period or grow facial hair or whatever, get them on puberty blockers. I wish I was on blockers when I was a kid. Probably would have saved me a lot of turmoil about, you know, growing boobs and getting my period and all that not so much fun stuff. Um, and also support them. You know, even if you're like a very conservative, religious say, Republican family, you know what? Support your kids because you you love your kids. You, you love your kid. So they're going through something that is, you know, can be very hard and scary for some people, for others not. Uh, like me, for instance, I wasn't scared to be, come out as trans. I wasn't scared at all. I was happy when I finally figured out what it was, that there was a category, excuse me, a category for me to fit into. Um, and my parents supported me. My mom supported me from the get-go. My dad was hoping it was just a phase, but it wasn't. <laughs> So, um, so, you know, if you love your kid and they're going through something like this, support them because you love your kid. You don't want to lose them. So would you rather have, this sounds kind of morbid, but would you rather not have a kid alive, not have your kid alive or have your kid happy? I have a happy kid. Because sadly, sometimes they take their own lives. And that's sad. That's really sad. But at the same time, happy really outweighs letting them live their life the way they want outweighs not letting them. See what I'm saying? So... Um, so, you know, support them, you know, and even if your religion says, oh, homosexuality is a sin, this is a sin, blah, 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 you know, if God created everyone, for people who believe that God created everyone, um, there are people who 
don't believe that. But for people who do, personally, I believe that. I don't go to church, but I believe it in my, in my own way. Um, you know, God created your child in his image. That's what has been said, like, been taught and stuff. And, um, so I'm, I'm like, what? You know, if God created him in his image, created your kid in his image, then doesn't that kind of mean that God could be trans? Um, that sounds kind of controversial. Not kind of, it's controversial, but if, if he created your kid in his image and your kid is trans, so in turn, does that make God trans? Um, and everybody thinks, you know, people think God is a man. Would that make him a trans woman? Or some people believe God is a woman. Would that make her a he? You know, just that totally dawned on me just now. Literally just dawned on me just now that, you know, um, you know, could God be trans? If, if he created us to be in his image and your kid is trans, does that make God trans? That's just, I know that is very controversial. And a lot of people are probably going to be like, oh my God, what are you saying? You are nuts. And a bunch of people are going to say, oh my God, you cannot be saying this about God. You can't. And I'm not saying that I think God is trans. I'm not saying that. It's just, that's just something that just dawned on me like a minute ago, literally a minute ago. And you know, it's, it's just something to think about. So, anyways, so if your kid is trans, support them. Even if your religion says it's a sin and they're going to go to hell and burn in hell for all eternity. Big freaking deal. Just love your kid. That's the basic message is just love your kid. You may not agree with it. But love your kid no matter what so anyways um i will talk to you guys later bye